Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial by the routing guy. This tutorial is looking at a very high level overview of BGP uh, root reflection. So for those that don't know, uh, root reflector is a network routing component uh, that was designed or is for BGP. Uh, that's defined under the RFC 4456. Uh, what root reflection does is it offers an alternative to the logical full mesh requirement um, for IBGP, IBGP peering. Um, so if you like R2 in this scenario would act as a focal point for all of the IBGP sessions coming off of the surrounding nodes R1, R3 and R4. So in our example R2 is going to be the root reflector um, and the outer nodes here are going to be advertising their loop back into the root reflector um, so normally the um, the nodes on the outside would be connected to so R1 would be connected to R3, R3 can connect to R4, R4 connected to R1 um, and then that way everything is then uh, fully meshed together and we wouldn't need to use a root reflection but sometimes that uh, full meshed is not scalable and it's you know it, it's uh, creates a lot of TCP sessions and uh, it can just become a complete nightmare um, and sometimes it just it just doesn't it just doesn't fit what you need to do so uh, root reflection um, is a really good way of getting around of a full mesh and also VGP confederations which we'll look at in another video so we'll just do some verification um, on here. So if we come on to R2, oh, we got those open. If we come on to R2, just do a show IP root. We can see that we're learning three um, BGP prefixes, which are the loop back address, uh, which are the loop back addresses from our surrounding node. So um, from R1, from R3, and from R4. So the root reflector can see all of these because it is the first hop in the IBGP um, peering, so that is its adjacent uh, BGP peering. Um, but if we come on to R3 and do a show IP root, we can only see the advertised prefix from the adjacent neighbor, which is R2. Uh, we can't see the prefixes from R1 or R4 because this would be um, obviously transversing R2 to get to R3, which in normal IBGP scenario is not allowed. Um, so in order to uh, resolve this, we'll come back over to R2, and do a show run section BGP. <coughs> and we've got our three neighbor statements here. And it's very simple. All we're going to do is uh, drop under the uh, BGP configuration select the neighbor and I will uh, do some more videos around uh, root reflection more towards VPN v4 um, and uh, also setting up VPLS and uh, using that for um, the BGP auto announcer feature for um, VPLS uh, so yeah root reflector client here now once I run this the peering between that neighbor will um, flap and we're going for six and ten. Oops, not ten. <coughs> so now if we perform the same um, routing lookup that we did before on R3 we can now see that we're not only learning R1's loopback address we're also learning R4's loopback address and let's see if we have reachability um, so we'll just start with a simple thing which we do and we'll just trace the route there so yeah um, as you can see uh, we are now um, able to reflect those prefixes to uh, other IBGP peers that aren't directly connected neighbors. 
Uh, if you think um, there's anything else that I haven't covered or that you'd like to uh, know more about, please leave a comment below. Um, if there's anything other than BGP, uh, anything you would find beneficial, please let me know. Um, subscribe and yeah, thanks for watching.